here amid the palm trees and the outstanding weather on the beautiful island of Hainan. We're here in Hainan, known for the annual Boao Forum for Asia. Now this year, President Xi gave a keynote speech referencing not only the 40th anniversary of China's reform at opening up, but also the 30th anniversary of Hainan's establishment as a province and special economic zone. And Hainan's reform at opening up policy have transformed it from a once remote and underdeveloped island into one of China's most dynamic and open regions. And under the policy, Hainan has seen phenomenal social and economic growth in just a short space of time, and is also to implement new measures to make it even more open, dynamic and international. But what exactly are the changes that we've seen over the last four decades? And what can we expect to see in the future? Hainan is now celebrating its 30th anniversary as a province and special economic zone. The island, previously home to fishermen and farmers, now has a population of over 9 million and is an exciting example of China's commitment to the future. China's southernmost province is going to take on a bigger role in pushing the country's reform and opening up, with new policies being rolled out for the tropical island. It was about 30 years ago that Xi Jinping visited Hainan with his father, Xi Zhongsun, and it was 30 years later that Xi Jinping announced the decision of making Hainan a new free trade zone. President Xi has said China will develop Hainan into an example of socialism with Chinese characteristics for a new era and make the island province an example for the nation. Hainan, China's largest special economic zone, is said to be integrated further into the global economy. President Xi has announced a decision by the CPC Central Committee to support the development of Hainan into a pilot free trade zone. The island is set to be made a free trade port with Chinese characteristics. Such a free trade port reflects the highest level of opening up while also conforming to China's conditions and the province's development priorities. Hainan is now to focus on tourism, services and high-tech sectors instead of an intermediate trade and manufacturing. More flexible policies and regulation mechanisms will be implemented on the island to improve its business environment. China is now welcoming investors worldwide to start businesses in Hainan and participate in the building of the free trade port, so offering the country's development opportunities to global parties. Hainan is set to implement its new development concept to build a modernized economy and promote high-quality economic development. As stated at the 19th CPC National Congress, the Chinese economy is now transitioning from a phase of rapid growth into a stage of high-quality development. In line with this, Hainan will develop new generation information technology and the digital economy and integrate the latest technologies such as big data and artificial intelligence. But aside from technology and medical care, tourism will remain a core sector in Hainan, especially now that it is seen as an international tourism destination. It's hard to talk about Hainan without mentioning its thriving tourism industry. Now the island offers all kinds of tourism activities, beaches, cultural sites, folk customs and sports. And to hit Haiko Airport, it's easy to get a sense of just how popular Hainan is. It now offers 57 direct international flights. And by 2020, that number is expected to go up to 100. To promote Hainan's status as an international tourism centre, China plans to make the offshore duty-free shopping policy in Hainan available to all outbound tourists. It will take global talent to realise these aims. And in line with this, Hainan has been encouraged to create high-quality education resources and attract international professionals. Technical personnel and professionals from foreign countries, as well as those from Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan, will be allowed to work and apply for permanent residence permits in Hainan. All this makes for a sunny future for a sunny island.